On this video, we're going to be comparing the Rolex Batman versus the Hulk. So the first thing I want to say is that if you've been enjoying all my new videos, don't forget to like and subscribe to my new channel. I have a lot more unique and original content on the way. So let's talk about these superhero theme watches. I mean, the first thing I want to say is I don't come up with these names. I really don't. Um, that's kind of something that the market and the enthusiasts come up with. But it just so happens that ever since these watches started to get a little popular and the prices started to rise and we have seen them take some crazy rises in the last four years. Right now, it's almost pretty interesting to see that the Batman and the Hulk are neck and neck fighting for the top position. So really, which one is the best choice or just simply, which one's better? All right, so first let's talk about the Hulk. I mean, the Hulk is a watch that five to six years ago, you almost couldn't even get rid of it. I mean. When I was selling these things in the pre-owned market, they just weren't selling that much. You would sell easily five to seven regular black subs for one of these. And they were around, they were available. Remember, this is before the watches started going over retail. My favorite part about this watch was when a guy would walk in all excited, see it on the display case and tell his girlfriend or his wife, that's the one I want. And she would say, I don't like that watch because it's green. Not trying to be a salesman or nothing like that, but this is one of those watches, being that it's all green, just looks different when it's sitting in the display case next to all the traditional black dials. So I would always take it out of the display case and put it on. And a lot of times when I would put it on, the girl or wife would say, it's actually pretty nice. So it's one of those watches that just at that time, I would say the Batman was selling a lot better something about the green that just turns some people off. For me, green is the color of money. I like that it strikes. I'm not one of those that has to have everything matching. There's people out there that have to match from their socks to their sunglasses to their underwear. I'm not like that. Green goes with everything. Is it a little bit more of a summer watch and obviously more sporty? Yes, of course. And for a while there, I felt like the green is what held it back. Now that we fast forward to today, the green is actually what makes this watch special. It has immediately caught on and I feel like everybody now wants one. Prices right now for these watches are crazy. Retail of this watch right now is 9,350. It's still up on the Rolex website, which means if you jump through enough hoops, you can actually get one at retail. I highly doubt it, but yes, you can get one still today. There's been rumors already for about three years that it's going to be discontinued. I've been hearing that every single year and it just hasn't happened yet. I'm going to go ahead and say that this is one of the few stainless steel sports models that I do not have in my collection. I had one a while back, back when I was saying they were hard to sell and I almost had to get rid of it. At that time, I wish I would have kept it. I paid $6,500. So right now the prices have jumped dramatically. We're looking at easily double retail. Right now, you can pick up probably a brand new Hulk with the new style card. It's gonna easily cost you 18 to 18.5. I would have never predicted that in the past. If not, I would have bought all the ones that I could. But, you know, as many GMTs as I own personally in my personal collection, I would go ahead and say that I'm still a sub guy at heart. Something about the Glide Lock class that for me makes it easier. And yes, I enjoy the fact that it's all satin. And once again, the green pops. Enter the Batman. The Batman has always been an easy seller. Something about black and blue, you know what they say about blue, it always sells. Everybody wants blue. I made a video a while back where green is the new blue. But the whole time that this watch has been out, it's been an easy seller. Some people never wanted to pay the extra premium, which before was only about $1,000 back five, six years ago, for the blue. I've always said that when comparing the GMT to the sub, and we're talking about black to black, that it's 50-50. Half the people like the fact that the bezel on the GMT is a bit more busy, you know, a little more to look at. And a lot of people like the fact that the GMT brings the polished center links. But it's really hard to predict what that person is gonna like. Usually I always say it's a 50-50 draw, don't know what they're gonna pick. But for the most part, when it comes to the Hulk, and the Batman, a lot of people tend to go for the Batman. That's just what's shown 
over my experience throughout selling watches the last eight years. One of the cool things that I like about the Batman is that during the day, the blue really pops. But sometimes at night, it just blends in and looks all black. So I own one myself, and when I picked up mine, I actually got it for $7,200, but I've had it for five years. Back then, it was actually pretty expensive, and it's part of my personal collection, and I love it. Now, one thing that I want to mention that's different than the Hulk is that the Batman is discontinued. Yes, they make now the Batgirl, which, man, they didn't have to do it like that. They named it the Batgirl because of the Jubilee Band, but people call it the Batgirl. It's still not the same. We're referring to the Oyster Band. That's why I compared Oyster to Oyster. So with an original retail price of around $9,000, right now you're going to be looking to pay for one of these things unworn easily in the $17,000 range. Unworn, of course. Pre-owned, they're about $15,500, $16,000. So the thing is, since the prices finally got so close, which about a year ago, they were a little bit different. There was about a $2,000 difference between both watches. Now I wonder which one's better, the Hulk or the Batman? Now, when comparing the two, when you're looking just straight up at size of watch, case, etc., they're pretty much the same watch. They're exactly the same dimensions. The only difference really is one has an all brushed bracelet while the other one has polished center links and also the addition of the glide lock class, which to me is a great feature, but I don't miss it exactly on my Batman. So what it really boils down to is, are you a GMT guy or are you a sub guy? Now that prices are pretty even, it's gonna have to boil down to that. And if it's not that, then it's gonna be color. Which color do you prefer? The Batman is more of an all around watch in the sense that yes, you can wear it with just about everything. Where the Hulk, being the striking green, sometimes may be a little bit too sporty for certain scenarios. So that's the question you wanna ask yourself. What color are you drawn to the most? That is actually the perfect battle right now in the sports models because it's blue versus green. So if you wanna compare long-term, which one's gonna be more of the collector's item, that's gonna be tough. I would go ahead and say that the Hulk is gonna be discontinued any moment. And it's been around already for a while. So I don't understand why it hasn't been discontinued. That being said, if you're gonna compare the prices, I would say that the Hulk right now has a little bit, listen, very little, don't blow this out of proportion. A little bit more strength than the Batman. And when it becomes discontinued, will it go to $20,000? That's the one question we want to ask. Will the Hulk go to 20 k when it's discontinued? Where I'm not sure, but I feel like the Batman right now may have hit the ceiling at around 17 to 18 k new. So in conclusion, between the 116610 LV Hulk and the 116710 BLNR Batman, there just really isn't one that's better. It just boils down to personal preference, which is the one that calls your name and which is the one that you're gonna get the most wrist time with. So feel free to comment below which one do you like better or which one do you think will be worth more in the long run. And if you like this video, please like and share. Also, subscribe to my channel because we're gonna get crazy on these fools. Let the fuck with you. <laughs>